Hi friends, welcome to Bani Smart Class. I am Alok. Today we will discuss some important question of compound interest chapter. And from that chapter, only we discuss difference related questions of compound interest and simple interest difference question. Come to the question number one. A sum of a 15,000 rupees invested at the rate of 10% per annum for 4 years at simple interest and a compound interest. Find the difference between a compound interest and a simple interest. This is the question. So I write here 15,000 it is your principal. Then rate of interest at 10 percentage timing 4 years. It is 10 percentage 1500. Then it's 10 percentage 150, it's 10 percentage 15, and it's 10 percentage 1.5. We multiplied here 14641. 14641 here multiply. Then we get 15,000. 1500 into 4, 6,000. It is your simple interest. 150 into 6, 900, 61.5. This is your difference 961.5. The total from these to these, it is your compound interest 66,961.5. Simple interest 6,000. The difference it is your 961.5. But question is here, what is 14641? Compound interest formula, you know that P whole into 1 plus R by 100 whole to the power N. Suppose uh, for the one we use A, R by 100 A plus B. Hold to the power 2. Its coefficients are a square plus 2ab plus b square. It is your formula. Then coefficients are 1 to 1. 1 to 1. When the power is 3, when the power is 3, the coefficients are 1, 2 plus 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, then 1. Because a plus b whole cube, you know that a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. a cube 1, 3, 3, 1. Then when the timing is 4 years, then power will be 4. So here 1, then 3, 1, 4, 3, 3, 6, 3, 1, 4, then 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Here the time is given for 4 years. So I multiplied here 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Clear? Come to the next question. The compound interest on a certain sum of money at a certain net for 2 years is 40 rupees 80 pies. And the simple interest and the same sum is 40 rupees. At the same rate and for the same time. The time is given for 2 years. 2 years simple interest 40 rupees. First year interest is 20 and second year interest is 20. In the simple interest in each year interest will be equal. And compound interest 40.80. You know that it is your 80.80. It is the interest of interest. 0.80 it is interest of the 20. But rate of interest is equal to 0 0.80 divided by 20 into 100. 24 ja, 0 0.40 into 100 it is your 4 percentage. Option C is your correct answer. Then question number 3. The difference between the simple interest and the compound interest on a sum of money for 2 years. 4 percentage per annum is 800 rupees. 4 percentage. 4 percentage means 1 by 25. Then timing is given for 2 years. 25 square 625 it is your principal. Clear? 625 it is interest one, uh, 4 percentage 1 by 25 means 25. Then second year it is 25. Then difference is equal to 1. 25, uh, 25 it is 4 percentage 1. Are you clear? 25, 25, 1, 51 compound interest. 25, 25, 50 simple interest. Difference is equal to 1, 1 is equal to 800, then principal, assuming principal here 625, the 625 is equal to what? 
then 3 2 ja then 3 ja 0 4 divided by 1600 so here 23.04 it's a square root you know that 4.8 i write here r by 100 is equal to 4.8 by 40 r by 100 is equal to 4.8 by 40 that means if cross multiplication 40 r is equal to 480 0 0 cancels r is equal to 12 so that answer it is your 12 percentage then next question the, the ratio of a difference between compound interest and simple interest for 3 years to the difference between of compound interest and simple interest for 2 years is 19 is to 6. Find the rate of interest. 2 years difference formula for the 2 years difference formula P whole into R by 100 whole to the power 2. Then 3 years difference formula, 3 years difference formula P whole into R by 100 whole to the power 2 whole into 3 plus R by 100. According to the question, 3 years difference to 2 years difference ratio is given. So that 3 years difference P whole into R by 100 whole to the power 2 whole into 3 plus R by 100. And divided by 2 years difference formula P whole into R by 100 whole to the power 2 is equal to 19 by 6. So, the P whole into R by 100, P whole into R by 100 cancels 3 plus R by 100 is equal to 3 plus 1 by 6, 3, 3 cancels, then R is equal to 100 by 6, 100 by 6 means 16 whole, 2 by 3 percentage, clear, but it has a shortcut method to find the rate of interest, okay, then 19 by 6, you know that 19 by 6, this is 6, it is your 2 years difference, and 19 it is your 3 years difference. 19 it is your 3 years difference. Then you can write 3 whole 1 by 6. Okay. 3 whole 1 by 6 means this 1 by 6. 1 by 6 into 100. This is your 16 whole 2 by 3 percentage. Clear? Come to the next number. Question number 6. Principal question mark. Rate of interest 16 whole 2 by 3 percentage. Time is equal to 3 years. Compound interest minus simple interest is equal to 76. I will give you very shortcut tricks to find this question's answer. Here 16 whole 2 by 3 percentage means you know that 1 by 6. Then timing is here 3 years. So 6 cube 216 it is your assuming principal. Then uh, where the principal is 216. Rate of interest 16 whole 2 by 3 percentage. Time is equal to 3 years. Then difference is equal to. 3 into 6 plus 1 is equal to 19. According to the question, 19 is equal to 76. 1 is equal to 4. Then principal 216 is equal to 216 into 4. 4 200 into 4, 816 into 4, 64. 864. Option A is your correct answer. Suppose another example. Rate of interest 11 whole 1 by 9 percentage. Timing is here given 3 years. We, we have to find out the principal and compound in, principal and difference ratio principal and difference ratio 11 whole 1 by 9 percent means 1 by 9 then timing is even here 3 years 9 cube 729 then difference here 9 3 are 27 1 28 how do we find this ratio come to the tree 11 whole 1 by 9 percent or uh, 16 whole 2 by 3 percent come to the 16 whole 2 by 3 percent 1 by 6 6 cube 216 then first year interest 36, second year simple interest 36, third year simple interest 36, then it is 6, then 6, 6, 1. So here 6, 3 is 18, 1, 19. This is your 3 years difference. Okay. 6, 3 is 18, 1, 19. 
then two years difference from the two years difference six clear where principal 216 difference six 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 one nineteen six plus six twelve plus six eighteen plus one nineteen and two years difference is six clear the in this question 11 all 1 by 9 percent means so you can write 1 by 9 1 by 9 means 729 principal first year interest 81 second year interest 81 third year interest is 81 because 729 it's 11 all 1 by 9 percent means 1 by 9 then it's interest 9 9 9 1 9 3 is 27 plus 1 28 it is your difference and 729 it is your principal okay try to solve these questions in this way okay thank you very much